All right, back on the V8 swap Comanche here. Um, I put two small fans on this thing. They're eight inch, I think. You know, they're pretty small. There's one in the front, one in the back, or one in the front, one in the back. That's not enough. This thing got super hot uh, yesterday, so I bought a one big fan. <clears throat> on Summit's website they got this Flexalite Flexwave fans the 16 inch uh, it's not marked which one it is it's marked back here I don't know what the it's reversible so you can put on the front or the back I'm going to put it on as a pusher so you mount on the front that pushes through if you mount it on the back of the radiator it pulls it I don't have enough room to put it on the back so I got to put it on the front I have to do a little bit of Patting on a cross member in there. So yeah, <clears throat> we'll uh, this thing put on there. The depth, I kind of had to, I was really worried about the depth of this thing. So it'll slip down in there and we'll just have to figure it out. See what we gotta do to make it fit. Oh, and I've gotta flip the fan. I guess when you it's set up as a puller, so when you make it a pusher, you got to flip the fan over and uh, reverse the polarity. So I kind of think that's probably why this isn't working because these fans are set up as pullers, and I've got one as a pusher. I reverse the polarity, but maybe the blade isn't right. So we'll just take all that off and put this on. So I just use these little push through tab bolts to mount it. I gotta try to get them off here without killing my radiator. Apparently those things break off pretty easily. Not a big deal. Those things are cheap, or they just break that easy? Uh, let's see. I put plugs on this, or I'm not really sure on the quality of those things. They should have zipped right back out of that pretty easily. Yeah, so I guess I should have realized that you gotta, these aren't reversible. Not all these electric fans, you can reverse them and run them the other direction, but apparently they don't work like they're supposed to. So as a puller, yeah, and as a pusher, yeah. Okay. So this is what I have on there. This is what I'm going to put on there. Where's that going? Tighter than I remember. I think 
that's going to just fit perfectly. Sometimes things just come together. I think these things are meant to have V8s in them. And that goes there. Got a line up there, and it's fine. <laughs> How about that? Flip the fan. Well, it's not as cool on this side. This side's got all the cool veins on it, and this side's kind of ugly. Jesus clips back on here. That thing's actually got a curve to it. I'm going to use pliers for that. I think it'll disappear. I don't know about that. That's all that holds that blade on there. Hmm. I don't like that at all, to be honest. Oh, I kind of want my wires going down. Make sure I get it rotated so that's the case. Easier. Actually, let's get you over here. Just before you start shoving these through, you want to make sure that you're where you want to be. So that you can get all of them in a spot. Especially running fans on both sides because you'll end up with them sitting right on top of each other. Send these right through. Well, oh, these are fat. Man, I don't know if I like that very much. Yeah, it's not the greatest situation there. Just put the washer on there, and then your lock. Pull it tight. All right, I'm just gonna do, like I said, just a quick wire up here, just to see how this thing runs.
I like it. Pulled out a small piece, 47 miles long. Beautiful.